Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. <laughs> I'd really love that if you're returning. How you doing? What we're going to be talking about today are some very important items that you should have in your home, in your pantry, okay? And these are items that I'm working on stockpiling, and I think that they're very important for you to have as well. If you are new to preparing, you may not have heard these statements before, okay? You can live for three minutes without air, three hours without shelter, three days without water, three weeks without food, okay? Storms are brewing, my loves, and I'm not just talking about weather-related storms, no. So that's why I'm doing this video. Please stock up on supplies. Okay, as well uh, as paper products. Okay, and I know you're saying, oh, dear God, Autumn, listen to me. I still have <laughs> toilet paper from 2020. I get it. Okay, but we know to stock up on toilet paper and paper towels. But what if the water or the power is shut off? Be ready for plan B. Okay, plan B is having paper products so you don't have to wash dishes with precious water that is stored plus the fact uh that you might need to heat that water and use that fuel to heat that water do you understand okay you want to use the least amount of resources live normally and comfortably without using a lot of your stuff okay so here is the list of the 25 important items that I feel that we should all be stockpiling right now, things that I am stockpiling right now. The first one is spices. I've spoken in a previous video on why spices are extremely important to stock up on. Matter of fact, I showed you my spice stockpile. They will help you in the prevention of food fatigue and also add a little bit of spice to your life, okay? Uh, the next one is oils. Just about every single recipe calls for some type of oil, whether it's olive oil, vegetable oil, peanut oil, etc. It's always a wise idea to have a good stock of oil in your pantry. Coconut oil, too, is another really good one. Uh, grains and beans. It is critical to know how to cook beans from their dry status. I have been canning a lot of beans because, as you know, I want my entire pantry to be pop top ready. But I also have a reserve of about 100 pounds of dry beans at the ready. Okay. Now, salt. Salt is one of those important spices to have in your pantry. Back in the day, settlers, pilgrims, okay, back in the day, all right, let's just say back in the day. They use salt to cure their meats so they didn't go bad. You never know, okay, if we will have to go back to the old ways. So please stock up on salt today. The next one is pasta. Pasta is a staple in my pantry. And no, it's not just because I'm Italian. It's also because it's universal and can go with just about any dish that you are creating. The next one is dairy. Now, when I say dairy, I mean eggs, dehydrated eggs, powdered milk, powdered creamers, powered, power, powdered dairy of any kind. I prefer Hoosier Hill Farms as well as Augustine Farms. They're on the cheaper end and the quality is excellent. Now, condiments. Stocking up on condiments is essential for any pantry. I've been making my own condiments. My favorite is to make my barbecue sauce. And I am even venturing into making my own ketchup and mustard as well. And yes, videos will be coming. Rice. Need I say more? Right. Uh, tortillas. Now, these suckers make a great meal with any kind of leftovers that you may have in the fridge. Do you have chicken that's been in the fridge that you just doesn't go with anything. Uh, did you make too much pork or beef roast the other night? No problemo. Get those tortillas out, add some rice and some salsa, and bam, dinner is served. So the next thing is canned veg. No explanation needed, I don't think. Frozen veg. I always keep frozen corn, peas, broccoli, and okra in the freezer. What about you? Uh, canned fruits. I always keep canned fruits in the house for the kiddos. They love it in the morning with a yogurt cup. Frozen fruits, perfect for making that awesome smoothie. 
canned meats. This is a part of our do not touch pantry. We keep our canned meats for emergencies only except for canned can ham because my granddaughter loves canned ham with eggs, uh, pasta sauces. You can never go wrong with having a variety of pasta sauces. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I did a video on showing you how to water bath can pasta sauce. I will be showing you guys how I also make my marinara and my Alfredo and how I can those as well. Uh, nuts. Nuts are a bonus for snacking and baking. Just remember to freeze them because they do go rancid very quickly. I use my food saver to seal my nuts in a bag uh, before freezing them. I stock pine nuts, pecans, almonds, and walnuts. Baking supplies is the next thing. Baking supplies are where it's at for me right now for these past few months since we have been prepping for normalcy. So please stock up on your favorite baking supplies. Now let's talk cereal, whether it's hot cereal, cold cereal, whatever. Cereal is a great food item to stock up on. Kids love cereal. And if some families don't prepare well, okay, you know, there's a chance that we can make a child very happy with a bowl of cereal after disaster in our neighborhood. So now chocolate. Need I say more? I didn't think so. My favorite is peanut butter M&Ms. Everyone needs to have chocolate. When a disaster hits, it brings me down to normalcy. I am grounded. I am with one. Oh, so toilet paper and paper towels. You know, we soon realized why we as people of the prepared mind stop toilet paper paper towels you know those of us who were prepared could not believe those that were fighting over the large pack of toilet paper at the stores in 2020 so you know cleaning supplies is next on the list for many years many people have been saying that they can't use bleach and only use natural cleaners i get it some people are allergic. I understand. But germs need bleach, kids, okay, in my humble opinion. But this is why bleach and hand sanitizer were in such short supply for a while after the pandemic started. Well, not anymore now. There is a lot of hand sanitizer available everywhere now. So now let's talk paper products. We must store paper plates, bowls, cups, hot and cold cups, uh, and some plastic silverware. Here's the deal. We don't want to be using our fuel and our water to wash dishes. We have to cut back in some areas to conserve fuel and water. So watch for these when they go on sale. So now let's talk cloth products. I have switched personally to cloth for napkins and paper towels, like rags and stuff for cleaning, just to save on money. I still use paper towels for when I'm cooking. But other than that, it's all cloth for me. The next thing is first aid. Don't forget to stock up on your first aid supplies and your OTCs and also your pet supplies. You can organize them as you gather them to be prepared for the unexpected. And the last thing is water. This one is simple. Stock four gallons of water per person per day. Okay? And that's all. I hope that you guys found this a video informational and educational, and I hope uh, it helped you guys. All right, I am out of here. I will see you in the next one. You stay safe, you stay positive, you keep prepping, and as always, fearless. Ciao.